This evening on Nationwide, enterprise and innovation from around the country. A brother and sister from Cashel team up to establish a small insulation company. You're very welcome to the programme. This evening we're bringing you positive stories about people who are creating jobs for themselves and others in rural Ireland. And we begin with a story from the Premier County. Now, it's a brave step to establish a business in the middle of a recession, but that's exactly what one woman did when she lost her job in construction. She joined her brother in their native town of Cashel, and they went on to establish what's become a successful regional company, with the added knock-on effect of benefiting the local community. Marion Malone went along to meet this dynamic duo. as usual at Golden Kilfiekel GAA club, although many of the club's young players have been lost to emigration in recent years. Sister and brother Caroline and Nick Barr have done their bit to stem the tide, however, by setting up Maher Insulation in 2009, a local company staffed entirely by locals. Um, over the last two years we've lost nine players from our senior team. Um, Mostly through immigration. It's been a huge blow to the club and uh, it's vital that there's local sustainable jobs for the guys to hang around and be involved in their community and in the club. I was in San Fran for three months and I just didn't, I, I enjoyed myself over there but I always knew I was coming home like. But for me, for me if I had to stay there I don't think I'd be happy as I, what I am at home. Like, I, I love being home. I love playing GA and to work is here so I don't see why people would travel. Hi Nick, how are you doing? I'm great yourself. Ah, sure, great to see you. Caroline and Nick have been members of the Credit Union since they were in school. They approached us, told us they were starting up a new business. They asked for exhibition space and we were very glad to provide it for them. There are 1,215 people on the live register in Cashel uh, and that's not to mention the many people who have emigrated in recent times. So this is a very practical response uh, and uh, as I said, local jobs created locally and sustained locally. Insulation employs four full-time and some part-time workers, with Nick, whose background is in accountancy, running the business side, while civil and environmental engineer Caroline oversees all technical aspects and quality standards. This is the first stage of the insulation process. They put on all the boards onto the wall. They put it into an aluminium base track, which is the same width as the boards. They also mushroom plug it then, and that's just the way of keeping the boards onto the wall. It's the first stage, and after that then is the beading, which takes longer, but it finishes it off better. When Caroline worked in Germany, she was first introduced to external wall insulation, and it was to this she turned her attention when the construction industry crashed and she found herself jobless. Her brother Nick returned from Dublin to set up the business with her, something of a leap of faith in the middle of a recession, but they have found their greatest asset to be their workforce. I went back a long time when I was looking for tradesmen to work for us with the insulation. We actually went back as far as people I went to school with. I thought that it would be awkward or anything at the start, but no, the business relationship is brilliant there between myself, Nick and all the workers on site. They build up a great rapport with the homeowners. It's all just based on trust. The guys that work on site, they want the company to succeed as much as we do. Everybody gets on very well. The homeowner, most importantly, they trust the local lads that work on site. Most of them would know them from being down the gap pitch at the weekend, you know. Well, I'm from Dundrum and I trained as a carpenter, but uh, seeing as the work dried up, I was looking for a place to, to work and I'm very friendly with Paddy and the boys. And I just, I heard he got in with Maher's insulation, so. I just said to him, by chance, maybe if they're looking for a lad down the line, he might put my name in. So I suppose five or six months down the line, I got a phone call to see whether I come in for an interview and come in for an interview and sure, now I'm here. Any longer like you'll be able to afford to stay around, like, you know, things are expensive, like trying to live away from home and 
just that's the only option, like go out and get a few pounds out in Australia or wherever you're going to go, like everybody's doing it, like, but sure, as I said, Scranty's still around. Well, I was self employed myself for, a, for over 15 years, and I was out of work then for 12 months, like, and um, Caroline then approached myself and my son Paddy, who become working for him, because Paddy was out of work as well, like. So it was God sent for me, like, because immigration wouldn't be for me, like, you know. It's just out the road, like, I'm only living a couple of miles out the road, so it's great to, to be only working local, uh, getting that extra hour in the morning bed and, and the extra few hours in the evening as well, and being able to train with the club and play, um, hurling every evening, play with my own club, you know, and uh, save me from having to go. So this is the final stage of the process. They put on the plaster and it's after that then somebody goes along and he roughs it up. It's a very acquired um, skill, very hard to do because if any little bit is wrong in it then it's absolutely ruined, the whole wall is ruined. So it all has to be done at once. You can't change it and do half of it on a day because the colours won't match in. So this is the most important, hardest, most skillful part of the job. Oh, good afternoon. How are you? Um, just back there now from doing a few measurements right. with a few prospective clients. Well, we would have a lot of emphasis on sustainability for the future. Um, we have a lot of responsibility, myself and Caroline at the moment. We're hiring between four to six guys in our core activities, and also we have a lot of spin-off work that we provide. We always try to make our employees, you know, they're part of the company. We're, we're all on the same level. You know, we have guys, Paddy often comes up with new ideas where we could brand, you know, how we could get more jobs, how we could save time, how we could, you know, different materials and what we can use and this all brings a great emphasis on sustainability because we don't want guys just working for us for two weeks you know we want this you know to be their future and this is our future as well as their future. For Nick and Caroline it matters that they have been able to help their community in setting up their successful business both in terms of employment and the environment. And the sustainability of their company relies on attention to detail and the reputation they've earned, both locally and regionally. At the moment, people are very sceptical about construction companies popping up here and there, doing the new fad, let's say. So you're only as good as your last job. You have to keep up the standards. You, know, you have to be meticulous in every part of the job. You can do as much marketing as you possibly could, but you'll still referrals. I've found now since we've had the company that nine times out of ten where you get your next job is from your last job. Look, we're in a recession. There is a need for people to save money, to save money on energy uh, and to save money through conservation. These are real jobs and most importantly they give hope to the community for the future. Going to work to me is like going to play a match. You know, I love what I do and I think we're very lucky and I said if anyone ever would like to do it, you know, go ahead with it. It's if you if you enjoy what you're doing, it's not work. A very positive story indeed in these troubled times and a reminder that there are many such small companies located in Ireland and they need our support so do watch out for the small business in your area.